Come on. Come on. And, and your poops. There's a third out there. Wait, really? I've never seen that one. Hey, look, the elves are here. Look, 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 <laughs> Jelly! Oh, my God, what? Our elves are here. The new one's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Trixies. I have to say, all me. Gotta find day one. What is it? What's it called? The Christmas cobwebs. Cute. Mom gets to read it. I'll read it in a second when Mom is ready. Had a tea. Ooh, and Sam. This is a kind of creepy elf. Sam, look cool. Elf. Sam. Do 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 do. Don't bite the elf. Do 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 do. That's not cool. What color? Oh, glitter. Wait, are these? Is this glitter glue? Don't bite the elf. I think it's, it's just glitter. glitter. Yeah. It is glitter glue. Yeah. Yeah, it's glitter glue. No, leave the poor elf alone. You're biting him. <laughs> hey guys, I don't have my tripod on me, but I thought I would film because I'm out of the house, and that doesn't really happen very often right now. Cody and I joke that I'm like a golden retriever, or sometimes Cody's just like, let's go for a drive, and he, he takes me for my happy drive. I got a coffee. I've got a peppermint mocha. It's my favorite. You know you can order these all year. I love that. Um, but it's my favorite like wintry holiday drink when I'm gonna get a coffee out. Um, baby is with us. Hopefully he falls asleep because he's kind of sleepy. Uh, but I thought I would say hello. I filmed the advent, the elves arriving and um, all of that, but it is two days later now. So I thought I would vlog today because I'm trying to do this vlogmas thing and keep up with it um but I think it's gonna be more casual and like usually I do a mix of like sit down videos and like Christmassy content and I try really hard to put a lot of like time and effort and I just don't have that energy right now so I still am doing vlogmas but I think this vlogmas is gonna be much more just come along with us and like do Christmas activities and I'll just vlog through it hi what is that he doesn't like being stuck in the seatbelt. Like, that's him trying to get out. Um, so I thought I would just kind of keep it casual since, you know, pregnant. And, um, yeah, I feel like I have a lot to update you guys on. I will do that later when I'm, when, like, the baby's napping or something. Dada, Dada is in the store. Dada's in the store. He's going to come out soon. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot to update you guys on. The last vlog you saw, the last day of vlogmas, that was weeks, that was like the early last month. So it's been a long time since I filmed that. So, um, yeah, I definitely need to catch you guys up. I am much further along now. I'm almost in my second trimester and feeling much better. So that's really good. Anyway, I'm going to drink this. We're going to drive around and I don't know what else we're going to do. We kind of have like, we have plans we could do today. But I don't know if we're going to. We have to see if we wanna if we wanna do those things. Cody has tickets to um, a hockey game in the city. The teddy like they do this teddy bear toss at this hockey game, and they like all throw teddy bears onto the ice, and they donate the teddy bears to like a local children's charity, and it's a fun thing. And we have tickets for that, but it's a big. I don't know if we want to. Um, I don't think, like, if, if we go, it's probably just going to be Cody and Grayson, because I don't want to go, Mackenzie doesn't want to go, um, we'll see, we'll see. I've come over to the table, because the baby can't grab the camera. Cody, 
Cody's Christmas party was last night, and I stayed home. One, because I'm pregnant and, like, still a little waffly now and then. But the main reason being that Zag is still a little baby and needs me. And, um, yeah, we couldn't leave him, and there's no kids allowed at the big formal Christmas party. There's a Chris kid's Christmas party coming up, which is exciting, and we'll all go to that. But, anyway, the only thing I was sad to miss out on was all the food and the desserts. The desserts. I've been craving, like, you know when there's, like, a buffet and there's three million desserts? That selection of desserts is, like, I dream about that. <laughs> and there was caramel popcorn on all the tables, and um, there was a candy bar. And so Cody was like, I will bring you caramel popcorn. I love caramel popcorn. And um, it was, like, one of the pro... I don't get as many pregnancy cravings, I feel like. But postpartum cravings are wild for me, and I craved... Oh, excuse you. <laughs> Ziggy. <laughs> oh, you blame it on the cookie? Anyway, it was Zag. I craved caramel popcorn so bad. Um, anyway, he brought candy too. And he brought home four cones. Like these, you fill your own cones. And he's like, they just let me fill four. Probably because he's like on the, I don't know. He's like, there was leftovers. So I just went and grabbed two more. And so I put them all in a Ziploc bag and there's so much candies. I'm gonna just keep them in there and I'm gonna have a little bit with my tea. And then I think we're just gonna like, what I like to do is when I go on drives with the kids and stuff and I'll bring them and just like get a little candy a treat. I think we're gonna go on a Christmas light drive tonight. And so I figured I'll bring the candy bag and that will be fun. Mm, it's fresh candy. My poor teeth. Don't tell my dentist. Okay, so it has been honestly so long since I've sat and talked to the camera. The last video you saw, that q and I did, I filmed that, I don't know, the beginning of last month. I honestly don't know when I filmed it, but I was like, well, maybe not that long ago. I think I was only something like eight weeks pregnant or something when I filmed that. I don't know, but it was, a, it was a few weeks ago. So I have a lot to update you on. Now that I'm vlogging, like I said in the car, I think I'm just gonna kind of keep the Vlogmas videos casual because it's just really all I can handle. I'm gonna take you along with us. We're gonna do some Christmassy stuff, especially closer to Christmas. Um, I wanna to touch on a couple things right away here since I have you. Ziggy is walking, which is exciting. He's not like fully running, but he's like taking lots of steps and getting a lot braver. Like he's not, confidently like walking across the room on his own yet he's like walking to us he's walking between furniture so he's so close to like fully fledged walking um so exciting um i didn't get a chance to do a 10 month update so i'll probably do like a 11 month update here shortly because he's turning one this month which is just insane yeah in just a couple weeks you're one how is that possible how is it possible i don't know Okay, that's what I was going to say. I remember now. Sorry, baby brain is wild, starts early. I feel like I never got out, out of the last baby brain phase, and now I'm in another baby brain. Um, so a little bit different with Vlogmas, obviously. Usually I start my Vlogmas in November, and I do every other day through November and December. I was so sick in November that I physically like could not pick up a camera and film. Not only that, but like we were doing nothing. I was just going for... Like, Going from the bed to the living room was a huge feat for me and as far as I could go. Um, it was not a good time. We're in a better time. I'm weaning off my medicine. So I've been on medication and I am down to only two tablets a day. And um, I think today is my last day of just two tablets. And then I think tomorrow I try and go down to one. We'll see. If it doesn't work, I just backpedal a little bit and that'll be okay. But I'm really hoping I can wean off completely by like next week or something like that. Um because I don't love being on the medication, but as long as it makes me feel okay and be able to function, then I'll stay on it. Like, it's not a big deal. But as for Vlogmas and what that's going to look like this year, it's obviously going to look a little bit different. I'm going to do every other day this month. If I can get to a point where I'm catching up enough where I feel like I can start doing daily, maybe I'll start posting daily. Come on. You're going to walk? Walk to Carly. Walk to Carly. He'll, like, stand in the middle of a room and take a few steps now. And, like, it's he's getting braver every day. Um, anyway, I'm not going to push myself. I'll probably stick with every other day just because it's probably going to be easier on me because I'm struggling to edit 
because I'm going to bed really early. I go to bed with Zag basically. And then um, sometimes I need to nap during the day and that's really only my editing time is set nap times. And, or if I get Mackenzie to like, if I bribe her to watch him for a little, an hour so I can get editing done. Um, it just really depends. So daily vlogs is just really hard for me right now because I can't quite keep up and like catch up enough to um, post that frequently. Anyway, so normally, show sure, she can't say that. These like peach rings are one of my favorite candies. They are so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, there's so many interruptions in my house. Whatever. So this month, normally I like I share my what I got my kids for Christmas and stuff right at the beginning of December as early as I can. I just really don't see that happening this year. Um, I will be sharing of what I got my kids for Christmas. I will be sharing a wrap with me. Um, but there's a very, very good chance that you guys won't see those videos until like maybe the week before Christmas, just a couple days before Christmas even, like really close to Christmas. Um, if I can change that, I will, but, Shush. oh my gosh, between all of you. Can you hold me real quick? We're opening the door. You can't escape. You're my candy. <laughs> candy now for birdies. Oh, you're dropping elf. No. You can smell it. Elf goes there now. I love you. <laughs> you should just leave that in. That's really cute. Just Ow, my nose ring. <laughs> birdie cuddles. Who's my favorite birdie in all the land? You are. It's never overwhelming to just get huge. Huge lips kissing your face. <laughs> like eating your whole face. No, no, no. Not that. I love you so much. Say, Grace, what do you have? What did you find? <laughs> Magnet strip. And if people are like, oh my god, you kissed your bird? If, if you've never had a bird, then you don't know. Yeah, I kissed my bird. He's a very clean bird. He takes regular showers. You probably shower more often than some people do. <laughs> Honestly. She back? Yeah. Okay. No flying at the door. Just cuddles. Okay. Go with the girl. Okay. So, you will see those videos. They're probably just going to be a lot later. Can you just keep an eye on the baby while I chat for a second? Thank you. I just can't see him over the bar and I can hear him, but... Um, yeah, he might be doing naughty things. Oh, that's... Um... So normally I do a lot of my Christmas shopping in November. Sometimes I save it for like the beginning of December. It just depends on the year. But this year I spent all of November so incredibly sick. I did not want to do any Christmas shopping. I didn't feel in the Christmas spirit at, at all. Sam. And I really didn't want to do Christmas shopping. That's loud. <laughs> I really didn't want to do shopping while I felt so horrible. Like I wanted to wait until I felt good. <laughs> He's singing to the baby. Sam is on one shoulder and Mackenzie's holding the baby in her other arm. You can't. Yes. He's naked. He, they, no. You can't come. Yeah. <laughs> He's in a diaper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a very funny sight, though. Hi. Mama. That's Mama. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Mama. He loves to sing to the baby and I think he thinks the baby's deaf because <laughs> he screams things at the baby and only at the baby. Like, he just is like, it's like when somebody's talking to, like, an old person for the first time. They're like, hello! Like, that's what he does to the baby. Anyway, norm yeah, I just didn't want to Christmas shop while I felt like crap, honestly. And I knew that I would start feeling better closer to Christmas because um, right before Christmas, I hit the second trimester. Obviously, I know I'll feel so much better. And all of December, I will feel a lot better and just progressively get better as I get closer to Christmas. So, with that being said, Cody also has holidays this year, which is so nice. Um, and him and I do all the Christmas shopping together. It's our favorite time. It's like our favorite thing. We do the Christmas shopping as like a date. It's so much fun. Oh, barking. Oh, what did you find on the floor? Anyway, we didn't want to do it separately. So, I don't know if we will honestly have time. Based on our schedule this, this month... I don't know if we will have time to do our shopping and finish it to be able to do like video hauls with in a timely manner at the beginning of December. 
Um, so worst case scenario, I'll wait until he's done, oh, again, he's on holidays, and then we'll finish our Christmas shopping, and we'll do all of our wrapping and our shopping and stuff then. Um, so if that's the case, you guys won't be seeing videos like the wrap with me and the what I got my kids for Christmas till the week before Christmas, maybe a few days before Christmas. And honestly, I know that kind of sucks, but it kind of works out better because my kids are older. They can more easily access um, YouTube and they know my channel. And not that they would go looking, but like my channel pops up on our TV, on our YouTube, on the TV and stuff. So like, it's just maybe safer that we wait and like put, put it out closer to um, Christmas Day. So anyway, um, sorry if that disappoints anybody, but I think that's just what works this year and we're just doing what works this year. Anyway, um, I also just wanted to sit down and catch you guys up because I've been getting, like, I asked what you guys wanted to see for Vlogmas, and I was actually really surprised that the majority of people just said, like, hey, I just want you to vlog, I just want to catch up with you, I just want to see how you've been, like, you've been pregnant and, like, not posting anything, and, oh, so close, you gotta walk, you gotta walk to me, um, and that was really touching. Of course, I got like, oh, I want to see, like, what you got your kids for Christmas, and I want to see wrapping videos, and I want to see, like, cozy content. And, of course, I'll do as much of that as I can in between here just as we do them. But um, I just found it really touching that you guys just wanted to check in with me and for me to share how I've been doing. And um, a big thing is just, like, how have you been managing pregnancy with a baby? Because I've never done this before. And honestly... It, it's not been as bad as I thought. One, my morning sickness obviously hasn't been as horrible as it was all the other times because I medicated this time. That was a big difference. Yes, it's still been brutally hard. Hi. And it's still been like really exhausting. Can you try and stay that way? So your camera can see you. Um, and like, yes, it's still exhausting and all the things that pregnancy is. But it's almost like... I feel like some of the baby stuff hit, take, keeps my mind busy and keeps me off of like the negative pregnancy symptoms that are really hard. And also like, <laughs> I thought it would be really difficult because he's running around the island and it's so cute, um, holding on to Mackenzie. I thought it would be really hard because I felt like pregnant and then with a baby, it would just be like double exhaustion and double the tiredness. But I feel like that's almost been the opposite where I'm already tired because I already have a baby. Like I already don't sleep through the night. I already get up and I already do this. And like, so I just feel like the tiredness I haven't even noticed, especially that is surprising for me. Like, yes, a little bit extra tired to where I've been I've been going to bed earlier just to rest my body, just because I know I need the rest. Once in a while, I'll need to like lay down with this afternoon nap, but my medication is actually like a sleeping aid, so it causes extreme drowsiness, and I don't know if that's just because the way my body like metabolizes things, or if it's because I already have a baby, but I haven't noticed a ton of extra fatigue, so that's been really nice. I feel like now I'm like, oh, maybe it's just because I'm already pregnant, or I was already doing the tired stuff with the baby and so now my body just doesn't notice it and maybe also because I get a coffee aversion for the mo majority of my first trimester towards the end of my first trimester I start to be able to drink a cup here and there again um but kind of going off coffee I'm like oh I just feel like I have I just feel like I need a coffee um and so maybe mentally that's why it's been a little bit easier but I haven't really found it to be hugely difficult because I feel like I'm already there. I'm already in it. So it's just like, what's a little more? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. <laughs> so honestly, I'm really glad that that has been my experience so far. And I know as I get bigger, I will get more tired. I have already, the only thing that's like concerning me a little bit is I've already had pelvic girdle pain again. Um, it was actually one of my first symptoms that made me think that maybe I was pregnant. Um, look at you go. You should tuck that in so he doesn't trip and you don't trip. I'm just like, I feel like I'm doing a good job controlling it now, but obviously we'll see as the baby gets bigger and, and I get bigger, that might become more of a problem. I might have to start going to see the prenatal chiropractor. But really like that is the only hard part is like when my hips lock up and I'm having a hard time moving. Um, it's obviously harder to chase a little baby around, but he's such a chill kid and he's like, as long as I'm close, as long as he can see me, like, and, and also honestly, my big kids are 
just amazing. And they have, I wouldn't have been able to do this without them because they all play with him like this. Like, I get a few pockets of some time because they're playing with him or they're entertaining him or they just, like, want to hang out with him and read him stories. And so there is, like, pockets I get to kind of catch my breath. So it's not like I'm doing, like, I always tell people who have asked me, like, in person especially, um, this would have been a totally different story if I would have done this when I was 20 and was a mom for the first time and I would have had a really close age gap. I think it would have been a lot harder than being a more veteran mom and, um, you know, having gone through all of the child raising so far to from baby to teen and then um, having the extra help and the extra hands and the older kids. <laughs> It has been a very different experience, and honestly, it's been a huge blessing because it just has made it a lot easier than it would be without it. So, why is everyone so loud in We're just loud. Like, guys, I'm having my fourth child. It's just gonna be loud in here. You guys are just gonna have to get used to it. Every time I turn on the camera, it was like silent in here. It was so quiet and calm, and then I turn on the camera. Honestly, I feel like I'm doing really well. I feel like. It's passing quickly, which is nice. Like, it's it's still slow. Like, November ticks by. But, like, now that December here is here and Christmas is, like, three weeks away, I'm like, wow, okay. Because being so busy with the other kids, and especially with the baby, it's keeping my mind busy and helping the days pass faster, which has been a huge, huge blessing. Because when you have really extreme morning sickness, it can really easily just feel like Groundhog Day. You're doing the exact same thing. <laughs> You're doing the exact same thing every single day and um, it can be really like isolating and you just feel like crap every day and every day is the same and every, you eat the same foods and like it's just really tough. So coming out of that has been so much nicer and I just know that every day from here forward I feel better and every day is going to be a little bit of a better day. So that's really good. Hi buddy. But I'm really excited for this age gap. I'm grateful. Like, I know this pregnancy is going to pass really fast, but I'm trying to, like, now that I'm feeling better, I'm trying to just savor as much as I can and just, like, really enjoy it while the moment that is here. Um, yeah, because this is, like, the, this is the last time. So it's, it's just different, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing well. Like, I'm doing... A lot better than I thought I was going to do and yeah it's only getting better I'm really excited for this holiday season of course like Zegas turning one it feels kind of like his first Christmas because he was only four days old and like we were still in that immediate birth zombie bubble thing like Zeg and I slept most of Christmas morning because I was like falling asleep. <laughs> so you know it's it's really exciting stuff and I make I'm Really looking forward to getting a little bit bigger and being able to do, like I'm looking forward to fun things like putting in the garden and having Zig and being like bigger and being able to feel baby kicks and all of that kind of stuff. So I know that's right around the corner. So it's really giving me a lot of like a lot to look forward to. Obviously like finding out what baby is this winter will be really fun. Oh, you didn't do what he wanted. He didn't tell me what he wanted. <laughs> So yeah, I appreciate you guys like checking in and I know I've been so absent. I've heard a l I've had a lot of people like talk to me and be like, Rainbow, you get me ready for the Christmas season and I'm like so unprepared because I'm I'm used to like watching your videos and being like, Oh, I need to get ready for that and yeah, that just hasn't been the case. So um yeah, I'm doing the best I can. I'm showing up the best I can. It's not gonna be perfect, but it is what it is. Um yeah, and pregnancy-wise, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know how often you guys are going to want pregnancy updates. I should probably start doing bump dates, but maybe I'll just do, like, every few weeks. Maybe I'll do monthly bump dates or something for baby problems, right? I think I did weekly with Stay, but maybe I'll do every other week until, like, the end, or I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, what I should do for bump dates. Um, I don't want it to get redundant or boring, but I would like to just update. I want to be able to document this pregnancy, too. Um... But yeah. He's talking about Pikachu in the basket. He is. Very smart boy. You like that Pikachu. Good thing he didn't take that to the teddy bear toss. But yeah, you guys, that's my little update. I, um, if you have any questions for me, of course, put them down below. I will either answer them in my next video or I'll answer them right in the comments. Um, 
I'm just enjoying, I'm feeling so much better. Like every, like this week is such a better week. And I'm just so grateful that like weaning off the medicine, I'm still okay and I'm still doing well. It gives me a lot of hope because this is normally when I start to feel better. So I'm hoping that it's safe to wean off now. I just felt like it was the longest month ever and I'm just really glad to be done November. It was not fun. Um, and I'm glad that part is over. So yes, okay, I think that's all I've got for you right now. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy our Christmas light drive when we go. We're gonna go in a couple hours here on Cody and Grace and get back from the teddy bear toss hockey game. So cute. They, he sent me a video, they tossed like all the teddy bears over and it was just hundreds of bears being tossed onto the ice. And they all get donated to like, I don't know who, I don't remember. It's like a children's hospital or some sort of charity charity donation but um yeah they're having a ton of fun and a blast and we're gonna go look at christmas lights after this so i'll bring you along um but this is my formal goodbye so i will see you in my next vlog